I'm Tony with Conference Technologies, and on today's episode of CTI Tips, we're talking about one of my favorite topics, job site photography. Let's get started. So you just finished installing a brand new system for a client. You're about to walk out the door after a job well done when your marketing department calls you asking for photos of the finished product. And you think to yourself, why do we need that? There are a number of reasons why you would want to take photos of your work. Possibly proof of work for your client. Historical reasons. Your work might be featured in future marketing materials or to show examples of what your company can do for future clients. All of those are great reasons to document your work, but where to begin? Here are some simple tips that will instantly help you become a better job site photographer. Tip number one, don't be afraid of cell phone cameras. Not everybody has a ProLine DSLR camera sitting around in their toolkit while on the job site. Lucky for you, cell phone cameras have come a long, long way. Cell phone cameras today are fully capable of taking a quality photo. Regardless of what camera you are taking pictures with, make sure you're taking photos in landscape rather than in portrait. Simply stated, make sure your photo is running lengthwise rather than up and down. We all expect to see selfies in portrait, but taking photos in landscape allows editors in your marketing department to maximize the amount of photo used in their promo materials. Tip number two. Prep your space. A messy room can't be fixed in Photoshop. Take a few minutes to prep your space for a professional photo. Align chairs and tables neatly, wipe down surfaces, and remove objects from the shot that are not needed. Tip number three, avoid taking photos towards the sun. As a general rule, try to keep the primary light source behind you. As you can see here, the photo is completely overpowered by the light coming through the windows. The windows are reflecting in the TV. The sun casts a yellow tone that will have to be adjusted in post. The main focus of this picture should not be the windows and the room in general is not photo ready. Here is the same room with the sun behind me. The focus is on the setup and the TV we just installed. There is no reflection on the TV and the photo is much more balanced in color. Tip number four, options, options, options. Take a variety of shots that shows the function of the room. Take pictures of equipment you used and how it was connected. Grab a shot of the ceiling if you think future work might be done in the space. These can be useful to engineers and design consultants for reference down the road. When in doubt, go wide on the angle. Editors can always zoom into a photo a bit if needed. It is better to have more to work with than less. Tip number five, don't skip the basics. Clean your lens or the camera on your phone before taking pics. A simple soft cloth on your cell phone will suffice. Hold still when taking a picture. Blurry photos will never make the final cut of any promotional materials. When in doubt, keep things simple and clean. Tip number six, guide the narrative. If you have the chance to work with a professional photographer, make sure they understand the function of the room overly guide them on the narrative you or the marketing department is trying to tell. Make sure they take a variety of shots. Again, options, options, options. Taking photos of your work should not be a stressful thing. In fact, it should be a moment of pride for you and your company. So I challenge you on your next job site to stop, take a few pictures, and send them over to your marketing department. I hope you learned something today. As always, please click like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you can see when we post new content. And as always, thanks for watching.